just a took me a deep. Another day, another foreign leader threatening Israel. We need to be very strong so that Israel cannot do these ridiculous things to Palestine. Just as we entered Karabakh, just as we entered Libya, we can do something similar to them. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, a man who before October 7th seemed to be thawing the cold relationship between Ankara and Jerusalem, has suggested that he would help an invasion of Israel in the same way his country funded Azerbaijan's war with Armenia over the enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh and gave military support to the UN-backed Libyan government of national accord during the Libyan civil war. There is no reason for us not to. We only have to be strong so that we can take these steps. Erdogan's comments do not come as a shock. Just before the Gaza war, Turkey's long-running spats with Israel seemed to be ending when both countries established a diplomatic presence inside the other's country. But following Israel's war with Hamas, the Turkish leader has offered unwavering support to the latter, hosting Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh in Ankara, calling Netanyahu a, quote, Nazi on several occasions, and rebuffing the idea that Hamas is a terror group. Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz slammed Erdogan's statements, comparing the Turkish leader to Saddam Hussein and urging him to take note of the fate of the Iraqi dictator. But will Turkey be the eighth front in Israel's multifrontal war? Probably not. As a NATO member, Turkey could face severe repercussions for invading a close ally of influential NATO nations. So whilst Erdogan's populist rhetoric may earn adulation from his followers, it remains, at the time being, just rhetoric.